All right, we've been working with several podcasting clients lately, and one of the problems you run into with a podcast is that oftentimes your files, whether they're auto, audio files or video files, end up being a little large, and you want to store them somewhere other than your web hosting account. A couple of reasons for this. Obviously, your web hosting account has limited space. Also, a lot of times you're running into limited bandwidth. More importantly, even if you had unlimited bandwidth and space with your web hosting account, it does not have the ability to handle a large spike in traffic. So if you publish a podcast episode and you have quite a few listeners, a lot of times they will get the episode pretty close to one another via iTunes or maybe another podcatcher. And that means that there are going to be a large number of downloads all at once, especially the more successful your podcast becomes. So you need to find another way to handle your storage. And one of the things that we recommend is finding a solution that allows you to upload large files, store them, and deliver them quickly to your listeners or viewers. And so uh, Amazon S3 is one of those platforms, and it's the one that we recommend and we've been using. So I'm going to show you quickly how to get set up with um, uploading files easily and quickly to Amazon S3. They do have an interface that allows you to uh, do uh, your uploading and file management and so forth via your web browser by logging into the Amazon web console and I'm logged in right now to the Amazon web console uh, actually if you first when you first log into the Amazon web console you'll be looking at a screen like this which shows you all of your available Amazon tools and so I'm gonna turn uh, just hit the s3 link here and that gets us into the management console for Amazon s3 which is the solution we're using that's um, super simple storage or something along those lines. <laughs> In any case, it's called S3. Uh, this is the account that belongs to one of our clients, Jim Brangenberg. He is uh, the producer of a radio show. I say he's the producer, he's the host. Uh, and uh, in, and also married to his co-host <laughs> for I Work For Him, which is a radio program airing in the Tampa Bay market, but also a podcast available worldwide via the iWorkForHim.com website. So, I want to show you quickly what we can do. I'm uh, We've already got a, a bucket set up. Bucket is the terminology that Amazon uses for places to store stuff. And we might think of it as a folder on a computer. But within the Amazon world, it's known as a bucket. This one is already set up for their podcast, and they are uploading all of their episodes directly into this bucket. But we have a need today for a new bucket uh, that... Uh, they can use to store some archived episodes from before the time when they were podcasting. So I'm going to get back into the uh, Amazon S3 console real quickly here and show you how to create a bucket. If you've never started using Amazon S3 to store your large files, then once you get your account created, this is where you'll, you're going to want to start. You hit Create Bucket. We're going to give it a name. And so with this one, I'm going to call this one, just following our naming convention here, I've got the uh, the initials uh, IW4H, and uh, you're going to use all lowercase here. I'm going to use no spaces in the bucket name, uh, so that's why I use the dash, I, IW4H, and I'm going to call this one Archives. Then you get to select the region for your Amazon S3 storage, and uh, you can see here there are several regions around the world. I'm going to go with U.S. standards since most of the listeners for I Work For Him are going to be in the United States. And then we'll hit Create. This is going to create the bucket. As you can see, it's already there. We do have the ability to add some properties and so forth. We'll get into that perhaps in another video. But for now, the main thing we need to know is that I have a new bucket set up. And I'm going to start uploading. Now, I'm using Firefox today as my web browser. And I'm doing that on purpose. A lot of times I use Chrome as my day-to-day -day driver. But in order to make dealing with your Amazon S3 files a little bit easier, I'm going to recommend that you use Firefox and add a plugin. And uh, it, I'm going to zip over here real quickly. You can see that uh, Amazon is uh, allowing us, it's actually listing this tool as one of the developer tools that is, that's listed in the Amazon directory. So this is an authentic tool. Doesn't mean that it was developed by Amazon, but they've checked it out and they do um, well, uh, link to it here so that you can uh, use it as a front end for your Amazon S3 file storage. And uh, it's a, a product called S3 Fox. 
Um, and it is a Firefox organizer for Amazon S3. You can also use it for Amazon CloudFront, which is a tool that connects up to, to S3. We won't be getting into that to, in, in any detail today. But uh, I'm going to click on this link. You'll see that where I end up is a, whoops, that's not the link I meant to click on. That's the user who submitted it. This is the link I meant to click on, which is where you can download the add-on. You're going to see that I end up at s3fox.net. So if you are making a note of where to go get this thing, uh, which I'll also link to in the notes for this video, it's s3fox.net. And you can simply click the download button over here. When you click it, you're going to see this guy pop up at the top. And it's going to say that Firefox has prevented this site from asking you to install software. So uh, this is a Firefox security feature. One of the reasons we like Firefox so much. Great security. I'm going to hit allow in this case. And it's going to now pop up and give me a chance to say, hey, you've asked to install this thing and it's listing you know where it's coming from I'll go ahead and click install now and we will need to restart Firefox so um, Firefox is gonna restart and open back up and then you'll see that we now have this um, what's new kinda deal over here alright so I'm gonna show you quickly how to go about using this tool in order to uh, get started moving files from your computer up to your Amazon S3 account. All right, once it's installed, then you're going to want to add this uh, Amazon S3 uh, Fox organizer to your little toolbar up here. So I'll show you quickly how to do that. We're going to hit this menu on the right-hand side, and then we're going to go to Customize. And from Customize, we'll take this guy for S3 Fox, and we're just going to drop it right up there. And you can kind of play with where you want it to live. It's, it's entirely up to you where you put it. Um, and then we can close the Customize deal, and now you can see it's there. So once we click it, we need to uh, get it configured. This is the uh, S3 Fox screen, but uh, I don't have any accounts configured yet, so obviously we uh, need to tell it which Amazon account we wanted to connect to and then provided some authentication information. So it says click manage accounts, so I'll click OK here and then we're going to click manage accounts and then we give it a name. So in this case I'm going to just tell this this is the I work for him S3 account and then I need an access key and a secret key. So where do we find that stuff? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's important information for us to have and uh, I'm going to show you quickly where to go find it this will allow you to get S3 Fox talking to your Amazon account. So um, under security credentials, so I'm, I'm back uh, looking at uh, Jim Brangenberg's S3 account. So under security credentials, I'm going to, or under his name, drop down his name. You'll find your name there. Drop down, hit security credentials. You're accessing the security credentials. Um, and so it says, let's get started with uh, continue to security credentials here. And you can see that there are access keys right here. Access keys, access key ID, and secret access key. Those are the two pieces of information that S3 Fox needs. And so you are uh, allowed to create access keys, numerous access keys for your account. Only two can be active at a time. So I'm going to create new access key. And then what happens is uh, once you cl click that button, a new pair of keys has been created and you can download a file which allows you to look at the information or you can click show access key when you click show the information will show up here and I'm blurring this for obvious reasons we don't want to have uh, the ability for people to connect to uh, Jim's account other than Jim <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and select the access key ID and and secret access key information here and I'm gonna pop it into a text file off screen so I just right clicked and chose copy and then I have a little text file off screen I don't recommend that you use Microsoft Word for this if you just open notepad on your computer or like in my case I have a tool called notepad plus plus that I store this stuff in you could also choose to download the file if you wish and uh, and then open it once it's on your computer either way is fine so uh, I'll go back to the Amazon dashboard here and then I'm going to come back to the s3 Fox organizer window click OK choose manage accounts let's try this one more time I work for him and then we're gonna paste in this information obviously again I'm gonna be blurring this for the sake of the video and so you start with your access key ID and then you put in your secret access key and then click add 
All right, and then you can close this little this little guy once you uh, once you've done that. So you click uh, OK. Now you'll see right away what happens is the folders appear on the right hand side. So on the right hand side of this window is your Amazon S3 account with the two buckets in this case that I've created, um, and uh, and so. You may only have one bucket in your account. I'm going to double click on the archives button. And this is where you can begin to upload files. Uploading files is very straightforward. You can locate them by browsing on your computer to any device that you have, hard drives, anything that you may have um, attached to your computer like a thumb drive. You can find the files. I'm just going to grab a video file that I've got sitting here. Uh, from a project that I did with my daughter. And I will just grab that and 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 you can literally drag and drop and what happens is once you hit the drag and drop it will begin to upload down here is where you can see the progress of your uploads this is actually a surprisingly fast process depending of course on the upload speed from your internet connection but Amazon is very very easy to work with it's one of the reasons we like them uh, speed up and down is going to be remarkably fast. So it'll only be limited by the upload speed of your internet connection uh, that you're using when you're uploading. You can also select multiple files through normal means like highlight one, use your shift key and highlight and, you know, click on the, on the, on the bottom one and it'll get a list. You can also click and then control click to select files individually. And there's also a right arrow here, which is your upload and a left arrow here. So once files have been uploaded, on the right hand side, let's say you need to download them to your computer, uh, you can do that as well. So you have the ability to upload or download right from inside the S3 Fox Organizer tool. This is a really powerful way to manage your files within Amazon S3. There are some more details to using the Amazon S3 account, and so we'll tackle some of those in another video. If you have questions, though, I'd love to hear about your questions, so please pop them in the comments here. Also, you're welcome to click subscribe, and you can enjoy all sorts of great marketing videos and tools for business owners and small businesses and even podcasters, and uh, we'll be glad to have you as a subscriber. We'll make sure to put out good quality stuff for you. Uh, now that upload is is completed, you can see the status over here is marked with a green check. It's completed, and now you can also see the file on the right-hand side appears over here. So again, the file's been uploaded, and uh, we can talk more about how to use these files on an upcoming video. In the meantime, like I said, let me know what questions you have. I appreciate you watching, and we'll look forward to uh, sharing more great stuff with you in the future. Thank you.